I want to see Taylor Swift today. Well, not Taylor Swift. I am going to see Taylor Swift, but her concert, her movie thing, my book thing, she's not really in South Africa, unfortunately. That's really sad. Literally, like, that would have made my whole year because this has been the worst day of my entire existence. <laughs> No, we need it. Anyway, yeah, it's not that long. Um, yeah. Literally. Anyways, hi. How are you? My name is Mackie. Welcome to Mackie Really Reads. Today, I'm going to be giving you all 30 books inspired by Taylor Swift songs. A lot of books I have to get to. Yeah, I actually saw this picture on Pinterest and I was like, it was like a 30 day challenge. I was like, I could literally just recommend books in one video for all of these 30 songs so the first song is love story and it says a retelling of a classic or myth so they actually kind of give like a description of the song so i'm going to be reading the description out or whatever it is that they want to portray or whatever about the song so love story a retelling of a classic or a myth um for this book i'm going to recommend feather by olivia wildenstein um this is the first book in the angels of asylum um this is a romeo and juliet retelling i absolutely love this book um i think i'm i think i read it 4.5 stars it's a paranormal romance he is a vampire she's an angel and she um wants to get her wings and she has to like go through missions or she has to have like a certain score so she is a little bit behind so um she goes for the big dog she goes for um the hero in this book um he is a vampire and he is like the worst of the worst he's like the worst sinner ever so she has to save him or make him do a good deed and then she will get um 100 points and then she'll get her wings and she'll ascend to heaven or whatever it is um so yeah it's their romance i really love this book so much for my stars next song is exile so featuring a duo pov um i'm gonna recommend this one right here twisted lies by anna huang this is the fourth book in the twisted series right um stellan christian love this book five stars he's actually my favorite him and alex are my favorite heroes still is my favorite it all jewels it depends it depends on the day sometimes i love jewels sometimes i like stella um but love this one so much it's a billionaire romance they are roommates she has to move into his apartment because she's being stalked and he owns a security company um he likes her so he's like i'll protect you i'll find out who your stalker is and yeah it's their romance and kind of have to do some fake dating and stuff love it five stars um and then the next song is vigilante shit and it says a book with a morally gray main character my favorite morally gray character or one of my favorite because like my favorite hero is a morally gray hero i don't know why but just like a morally gray there's just so much to unpack about a hero like that but for this song i'm gonna recommend rhapsody by laura the i absolutely love this cover five stars i love the series love love this book i love daddy desmond actually his name is desmond he's a bargainer but i call him daddy desmond um he's a bargainer he i don't want to go too in deep with who he is because he's kind of like it's kind of like a mystery at the beginning um but she's a siren um love it it's so romantic he is so romantic i love everything about it you think he's a bad guy but he really isn't he's actually morally gray um love this book so much i can't wait to reread it and yeah five stars like i said next song is better than revenge and it says revenge is a main plot point so for this one a uh, mindfuck series obviously by sc abby lana and logan that's his name right literally lana is the main character she is the main character everybody roots for lana she is the best thing ever um she is a serial killer and she is killing off everyone that's ever done her wrong and he is the fbi profiler of her case and they are dating so yeah and he doesn't know that she's a serial killer obviously because he's the fbi and you know uh complicated talk about forbidden love it um i am actually on the third book in this series um i will get to it just not now i have a lot more books to read next song is teardrops on my guitar and it says unrequited love my favorite unrequited love story or romance book is um by saffron a kent unrequited love love this cover 
um this girl is crazy it is a student teacher romance or student professor romance one of my favorite tropes of all time so she sees him and literally she starts hearing lana del rey like um blue jeans white shirt really that song starts playing in her head or that's how she describes him and she is in love and he's like i am your professor she even goes to his class because he's an english professor i think um she knows nothing she's like not even interested in that class she just shows up and stares at him so a bit stalkerish but i love it i love a girl that's the dude who absolutely love it um next song is welcome to new york so it's a book set in new york and one of my favorite books of all time one of my favorite billionaire series talk about toxic talk about like this is crazy um bed to you by sylvia day love it love it i don't know what anyone says it's crazy but like it's the best thing ever literally the best thing ever five stars for the entire series some of the books she like okay it's it's like they're doing the same thing over and over but they're just so toxic but they love each other and you're just like you're rude for them you literally rude for them because i know i did like who doesn't want a love story like that maybe you know the next song is nobody no crime and this is a murder mystery so i don't really read a lot of murder mysteries like ever and the only murder mystery <laughs> i actually give it two stars um looking for alaska by john green i had the book and i don't know where it is that's just like to tell you how much i did not like this book but i know a lot of people that would like it i don't know if it's because of the i read it when i was like 14 14 or 15 years old and i didn't like it i was just like why why is this happening i know there's a movie about it um or based on this book and yeah all the best to everyone that loves john green i'm i swear i am recommending this book it just i didn't like it but i know a lot of people that will like i always say just because i didn't like a book doesn't mean not everyone will um you know it depends i was young when i read it so maybe if i read it again um i will think differently i don't know next song is red which is one of my favorite songs one of my favorite songs and i think red is it my favorite album i don't know i changed my mind like sometimes yes 90 percent of the time red is my favorite album of all time of taylor swift and for red it says book with a red cover so i have this one um the return of the duke by uh, lorraine heath this is very red i love it i love this cover it's so so pretty i love lorraine heath she's become one of my favorite historical romance authors and also twisted hate it's not that red compared to like this one but you know you get it you get the vibe of like red so love these two covers love this book one of my favorite books this actually is my favorite book in the twisted series and then twisted lies um then this next song is the one a book you think will be a new favorite um it's this one right here before i let go by kennedy ryan i have not read it i'm actually reading it for um a reading vlog um it will be up i think very very soon by the end of this month it will be up um love this cover look at her drawline you you joking she does not snack on cookies at all she snatched drawline for days hair for days love it love this book i think it's a marriage in trouble my favorite trope one of my favorite tropes actually and the next song is betty a book with the name of the title um i want to recommend the davenports by some marquez four stars loved it i read it for a reading vlog love the cover and i'm so excited for the next book so 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 excited um i can't wait um it is like a regency romance if you like uh bridgerton you will absolutely absolutely love this book it follows four characters um helen amy rose um olivia and ruby absolutely love them love these girls um all the characters are black love it love that for us next song is cruel summer it takes place during the summer um i have not read this book but this one apparently is very very good and very emotional and i like 
I started reading it. I'm not too far into it, actually. I'm in the midst of a couple of books. I'm like somewhere here. And I know like the beginning is in summer. And also I'm in the middle of reading this book as well, which does take place during summer, Happy Place. So you could either read this one or you could read this one. I don't know. I think I want to like this one more than this one. Um, so far, that's that's how it is right now. Um, but those are the books I would recommend for cruel summer. Um, Nick Song is ready for it, and it says your most anticipated release for 2023, and that is Iron Flame by Rebecca Yaros. So, so I went to the bookstore a couple of days ago, and the lady actually put me on the list of the people that are that want Iron Flame immediately. I told her I was like. You guys open at eight, right? I will be the first one there. I'm not even joking. Like I'm like I am using an Uber seven o'clock. I'm by the bookstore. No one's taking my book. Okay. Most anticipated release. I think of all time for me. I am just so excited. I'm so happy I joined in the fourth wing. Um hype the the journey of fourth wing. I'm so excited to be part of this. Um to be experiencing this with everyone else. Um I love this book. I love, love, love Fourth Ring Five Stars. Oh, I can't tell you how much I love this book. But obviously, you already know because I have a reading vlog. If you haven't watched it, what are you doing? Next song is You Need to Calm Down. And it says an overhyped book. Now, I know I just said I'm still reading this book. But so far, it's not good at all for me. I am not liking it and I know a lot of people and people are like crying and I'm like I don't understand why you're crying reading this but that's just me like I said I haven't finished it um I'm like I think here right yeah around here and I oof, I don't know man I don't think it's for me I don't think she's the author for me honestly I don't think Emily Henry writes she she was thinking about me when she was writing this book you know i don't think i'm her target audience at all and i'm okay with that literally i am okay with that and the next song is the bad blood enemies to lovers favorite enemies to lovers book of all time i hate absolutely hate enemies to lovers except for like if it's in a fantasy romance but like contemporary romance is no ma'am no ma'am i can't deal with it i hate it but Jess from Peace of Books actually recommended this book some time ago, like two or three years ago. Um, I read that book for a reading vlog. Loved it. I was like, I didn't quite understand why. Like, I was so shocked that like, I really liked it because it was Enemies to Lovers. And for the longest time, I hated Enemies to Lovers. I would start to read an Enemies to Lovers book and I knew it immediately. Like, okay, I, I'm going to hate this book. And it was true. But for this book, right here, Brutal Prince by Sophie Locke. The first book in the Brutal Birthright series. I absolutely loved it. Five stars. Ada and Callum. I love them. And it's not even like they're romance. I think how... I just... There was something. There's some source. There's some secret source she put in this book. And I love it. I love the humor. I love the banter. I just loved how their romance makes sense. <laughs> At the end of the day, you're like, okay, I understand why they're together understand why the enemies and why they're lovers it just makes sense and sometimes enemies to lovers it doesn't make sense well for me in that case but yeah love blueprints next song is long story short a book with 500 plus pages Woo -wee. it's this one right here a little life she's gigantic she is she, she is over how many pages i think 706 i'm still counting 720 720 pages 720 pages is this longer than the bible it could be no is it i think the bible has like a thousand pages close to the bible they're really close to the bible and people are crying people are crying they have like snot coming out of their nose it's like hyperventilating type of crying so i'm excited i'm always up for tears this song is paper rings and it says a book with the ring on the cover um i'm gonna recommend this one king of wrath by anna huang look how pretty that ruby ring is how pretty is that gorgeous love it i think this is a matter of convenience 
I think his name is Dante or Damien. Is it? Oh, Dante, and her name is Vivian. Yeah. Reading vlog coming up. All my thoughts on that book very, very soon. But I will tell you, I do like it. Next song is a Question, a book with a question in the title. And for this song, I'm going to recommend Was I Ever Here by Naomi Loud so heartbreaking this is like soulmate type of love five stars um so it's kind of like a reincarnation where he, they've been together like reincarnation every life that they've been through they have been together like obviously not in the same body sometimes not even the same gender and it is so so beautiful so beautiful so heartbreaking please check the trigger warnings Love this book, five stars, one of my favorite for the whole year. And then the next song is Tim McGraw, a debut novel. Um, the last debut novel that I actually read was um, Life Hypothesis by Ellie Hazelwood. I think I read it four stars. I mean, I think everybody knows this book by now. Um, it's kind of student teacher, but not really because they're like different. They're not in the same department. Um, a woman in STEM very funny grumpy sunshine he's like Raylo people describe him as Raylo I wouldn't know who Raylo is like uh, I mean I think I know what he looks like but y'all <laughs> I don't know but you don't really need to know Raylo because I don't but I still love the book very funny as well very sweet um yo loved it I think I read it four stars and then the next song is I forgot that you existed and it says has been on your TBR the longest. I swear I'm gonna read this book. I I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna document reading this book because right now it's actually embarrassing. But I still have not read Six of Crows. Still have not read this sucker right here, Six of Crows, um, by Lee Bardugo. I need to know who Kaz is. That's his name, right? Kaz. Apparently, it's a money and heist type of story fantasy world i think i don't know i could just watch the netflix thing but i'm not like that so one impossible heist yeah looks like it is love the cover though it's pretty um i will read it someday i don't know when but i will read it um and then it says it's nice to have a friend a book recommended by a friend and this is a book that i'm currently reading right now for a blog well i'm kind of I'm reading a lot of books right now but this one i started it today not too far into it i'm literally on chapter four um but this is the last book that was recommended to me by a friend so yeah and the next one is all too well favorite song ever like i said red i think red is my favorite album I really, really do believe in my heart of hearts. Like, Red is my favorite album. And it says a character that is getting over a breakup. And literally, I could have never, like... It's funny, but it's not funny at all. Like, this, this is painful. And I understand her pain now because I'm dealing with the same thing right now. And it is not funny. It is not funny. It is not cute. But I want to recommend... <laughs> new moon by stephanie mayer you all know the scene where bella is sitting looking over the window and seasons are like passing by i understand how she felt i get it like i get it now i get this type of heartbreak that the world stops everything stops moving i get it now i'm smiling but it's it's rough <laughs> it is rough Next song is Lost Great American Dynasty, which is a historical fiction, and this is the only historical fiction that I haven't read this on my TBR right now. It's Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ngao. Um, I don't know what it's about. I couldn't tell you. It's about a couple, though. I don't know. Let me know if you've read it and if I should read it. I don't really hear a lot of people talking about this book. Um, the next song is Seven, a book with a number in the title, and... Seven Days in June by Tia Williams. Reading this for a reading vlog. Love it. Love the cover. Um, I don't know why we have this. Like, why? Miss Reese with the spoon. You should pay a quarter for this book. Like, because you took a quarter of my cover. How dare you? I didn't ask for this. Um, but 
I I think this is gonna be five star. Don't quote me. Okay, you can quote me, but I think this is gonna be a five star. I have high hopes for this book right here. And the last song is gorgeous and it says a book you bought for the cover. This is the last song that I'm gonna be giving a recommendation for or talking about. And this is the cover. Or oh, this is a book that I bought purely, purely, purely because of the cover. Look how pretty she is. A little close up, close up action right there. How gorgeous is she? Love. Yeah, it's a fantasy romance. The second book I think is already out. Um what is it? Curse Crowns. Sisters United, a kingdom divided. Ooh. Love it. And it looks good with my nails. Pretty, right? Love it. Um, yeah, that is all I have for this video. Let me know if you would like me to do another one of Taylor Swift songs or if you want me to do an album where I recommend some of her books. Would love to do it. As I said, I'm going to Taylor Swift today. Um, excited! I say I'm seeing, I say like I'm seeing Taylor Swift, but I'm not. But I am, like, I am, you know? Just because she's not, like, really there doesn't mean I'm not seeing her. But I'm so, so excited for today. Um, I have to get ready. I have really 30 minutes to put on an outfit and get out of the house and head over to the movie theater. Um, excited. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And see you all next time.